When I teach Econ 101, I tell my students on the first day, intentions are not results. The intentions behind the policy will not necessarily determine what the results of that policy are. E economists talk a lot about unintended consequences, and it's important to understand what we mean. One example of an unintended consequence that is exactly the opposite of the intention comes from the Endangered Species Act. The intention of that act is to enable endangered species to flourish. One consequence in many cases is to cause the endangered species to be killed off uh, more quickly than otherwise. If you're a landowner and you find an endangered species on your property, you know that the Environmental Protection Agency will, as a result of that finding, impose restrictions on your land. One consequence of those restrictions is it reduces the value of your land, what you can do with it, the price you can sell it for. So what a lot of landowners do when they find what they think to be endangered species on their property is they kill the species and they shut up about it. It's called shoot the shovel and shut up. Kill the species, shovel to bury it, and say nothing about it. Now clearly that's not the goal of the Endangered Species Act. You know, the take home lesson from this is that you judge a policy not by its stated uh, goals. It's easy to state good goals. You judge a policy by the incentives that that policy will likely give to the people that it affects. Whether or not you believe in big government, tiny government, medium-sized government, it's difficult in many cases to trace out how the incentives will have real-world effects. But that difficulty does not excuse us from the task of pursuing it. We can't just simply say, oh, the intentions of the policymakers are good, therefore we can be assured that the results will be good. That's cheating. We just can't do that. That's very bad public policy.